Do you want to create that report, the dashboard in under 5 minutes? Trust me, it is possible even for a newbie. And moreover, it is going to be an interactive report. So let's begin. This is an e-commerce data with multiple fields such as ordered ID, customer ID, customer name, country, region, city, state, category, subcategory and numerical columns like profit, discount, sales, etc. Now just look, open the Power BI desktop. This is the canvas wherein we'll be quickly creating this wonderful report. Just click on get, get data, Excel workbook, select the file, select the worksheet, load, On the right hand side, under the fields visualization pane, you will see the column headers. Now let's start creating our beautiful report. Just double click on the canvas. It automatically opens the Q&A visualization, which is nothing but the question and answer visualization. Here the user can type the column names and the chart type they wish to see. Uh, so let's begin. Let's say we want region sales in a pie. Isn't that wonderful? Next we want say segment sales in a donut chart. Next would be um, subcategory. Subcategory, Sales, Funnel, right. Uh, next we will take uh, Sales by Year. Now let's make a slicer. Even that can be done by just double clicking. We want say a region slicer, region slicer and next we would like uh, say year slicer, year slicer, okay, we can just, uh, it is giving us like a drop down list, so instead of that we want suppose it like check boxes here we have in under visualization pane we have the sizer click on this and here we want the slicer again we'll shift it to check boxes yeah so this is a beautiful slicer here and uh, whenever we have some geographical data say state country city pin code longitude, latitude, we can represent them to maps. So, Power BI is so intelligent that it automatically populates the data, populates the data into a map. But just that it needs internet connection. So, we'll just again double click and we'll say we want a state map. State map. Here we have the state map, but it doesn't make sense. It's just showing the states which actually send the orders. So instead of that, we'll say state map by profit. See, it quickly gives big bubbles for the profitable states. Okay, next, uh, sometimes a single number is the most important thing we want to track in our report. Say, we want to see the total sales, total quality, profit, etc. 
such type of visualization is called a card visualization it is present here so again we can do the same thing double click space double click and say sales and we can do double click And say a profit. Place it here. Double click and say discount. Discount. And then we want say quantity. Okay. So here we have all our cards. Now, just the beautification part is left. We'll just make some arrangements. We'll take the charts on this side. Slice around to the left hand side. Reduce the size of the cards. And one more thing, one can just turn off this Q&A and make it a like standard visual by clicking on this button. One can even insert the name of the company and the logo of the company. Say from here, uh, just go to insert the image, the logo you have. Say I'll take the Power BI logo. Place it here, wherever you wish to. And you can even insert a text mentioning that this is a report for like say XYZ private limited XY XYZ private limited performance report. Just select the text and increase the font size and do the cosmetics part. Uh, one can even change the theme. So let's see how that can be done. Just go to view and select a beautiful theme you wish to select. See how the charts look better. And this is an interactive Power BI canvas. Power BI is not just a visualization tool, but one can easily filter out the data from the visuals. That, it, that is, one can concentrate on specific region or category or quarter. See now, suppose we want to see it from 2017-2019. So look, the charts are automatically adjusting for year 2017 to 2019. Now suppose we want to see the stats for only 
the matrix only for central region. So just select on central region and you will see it focuses on only on central region. All the charts are adjusted for central region. You can just uh, deselect it by clicking this button. Wasn't that quick and easy? Even a newbie can do this with little practice. If you all like the video, then please like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you all.